My name's Christopher Stiles. Um, I'm playing Major Timothy Smythe. And um, he is essentially the opposite number of um, Squadron Leader Muir's character. Uh, Squadron Muir, obviously, coming from the uh, RAF. Smythe is coming from the army. And there's a lot of uh, bits of bickering they get between the two of them, um, in which Muir's probably got the slightly higher status. Um, but Smythe's uh, very friendly, very enthusiastic. Uh, but that's more a way that he tries to keep his emotions under check. Um, he had a bit of a bad time at the beginning of the war with his brother dying, so that's the sort of thing that's pushed him a little bit over the edge. So although he appears very happy and um, uh, friendly, that's actually a little bit more of a, more of a cover. So it's just the smile of a psycho, probably, <laughs> what we're going to watch now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, these uniforms are, are actually um, really um, impressive because it's just they drag you back to the, to the time mm. of the war. And uh, can you give us more details about where they come from and uh, you, together with the, um, all the beautiful setting that mm. we can Yeah, well, all the different uniforms that we have, they're all uh, original stuff. Um, from the period. Uh, we were at some point thinking about getting some modern uniforms and tailoring them a little bit. Um, as soon as we realised we could get some actual real ones, that then made things a lot easier. Um, so the, the RAF uniform that the squadron leader wears, that was my grandfather's. It was his wartime um, uniform. Uh, the other one that Flight Officer Harvey wears, that's another one of our friends um, who um, had one of their fathers and they said, yeah, sure, you can use this, get it involved. Uh, this one was one we picked up off, off eBay. Um, but uh, yeah, we've always looked to try and get period stuff. And equally, a lot of the different props around the set are all original stuff or things that are reproduction or sometimes we make our own props um, based off reference pictures of the original stuff. But yeah, the idea is to um, absolutely recreate the, uh, the setting. And I like to think that uh, another one of the characters is the, it's the room. It's everything in the set and the way that interacts with it and all the telephones work and the radios work. So yeah, definitely, uh, the, the set was important. So really immersive, like in, in, from, from zero to... Uh, we, we can look at the setting, we can look at the actors being really like um, involved, but what about the audience? What is going to happen to them? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's definitely immersive for the audience. Uh, it's also interactive. Um, so the, the audience are not only um, interacting with uh, the characters, the actors, but they also interact with each other. Uh, where we've got the, the parliament setting when they're having debates, they're debating with each other. They're um, trying to put across their own views that way. But they also can interact with uh, people from outside of this room. So a lot of the time the audience will be on telephones talking to general headquarters or they could be um, talking over to the, the American embassy or the White House or the, um, the Kremlin over in Russia. So there's lots of sort of out-of-world uh, characters and people in other worlds that they're going to be communicating with. So there's a lot of, lot of interaction for the audience, definitely. So what, what's your expectation for tonight? Uh, for tonight, tonight's, uh, it's going to be great fun. We've got a uh, full house, um, so it's uh, so much energy that the audience bring when they come in. You've got it bustling around. Um, it also means that you've got quite often a lot of uh, conflict of ideas. Each audience member has their own idea of what they were, the way that they'd like to fight the war. And I think having, having the few disagreements really does help. It adds a bit of drama. It also gives us as actors something quite nice to play with. So, yeah, looking forward to that. So let's the show begin and uh, let's find out what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, enjoy the show. <laughs> Thank you.